Hi everybody, about four years ago I made a video on what a corset liner is, what it's used for, and uh, what you can use as a substitute, such as a, a t-shirt or a tank top and whatnot. But at the time I had only experienced one type of corset liner, and over the years I have accumulated a few more from different companies. So today I'm going to be doing a comparison between these four different types of corset liners, and also giving a recap on corset liners in case anybody had missed that previous video. So what is a corset liner? Well, basically, if you're looking at this, it looks like a tube top. And these are all underbust corset liners. So they uh, basically stop at the underbust and the hips here. And it uh, it's made from a very stretchy fabric so that it doesn't wrinkle underneath the, the corset. It's supposed to shrink with the corset so that um, you're not getting those folds and wrinkles underneath the corset. So it protects your skin because it's reducing the friction. So you're not going to get as much chafing or pressure points uh, with a corset. And it also protects the corset because when you're wearing your corset, especially for many hours in warm weather, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be um, sloughing skin cells or losing, you know, the little downy hairs. So the liner catches all the sweat and oil and skin cells from your body. And then you can just launder this instead of having to wash your corset. So how is a corset liner different from the shirt? Well, obviously a corset liner does not have sleeves or a neckline or anything. It's basically just supposed to be a tube top that stretches the length of the corset and that's it. Now, if you have some seamless microfiber tube tops that you can use as a, a corset liner substitute, absolutely go for it if you find it comfortable and if you find it more cost effective. Uh, but many people choose to buy corset liners from a specific maker because it's more convenient, uh, because it's made specifically to do its job Job, uh, to be very stretchy, uh, reduce the friction, and to keep the corset clean. And also, uh, many of these liners tend to have seams only in the front and the back, or even only in the back, such as this one. So the fewer seams there are in the corset liner, the less um, you know seams there are to irritate the skin. Now, someone else asked, how is this different from a faja? So here is a corset liner, and what you'll notice is that it's stretchy, it's elastic, but it's still breathable, and it's not um, its its not so strong that it's going to really pull you in. It's not designed to be shapewear, it's merely designed to act as a barrier between you and the corset. And by contrast, here is the, uh, the cincher, or the faja, that I purchased a number of years ago, um, and this one is not breathable. It is still stretchy, but it has, um, um, more resistance to it so that it's going to bring in your waist perhaps an inch or two. But the main thing is that it's not designed to be breathable. This has a rubbery coating on it that's supposed to uh, keep you warm and um, make you sweat. Whereas a liner is supposed to do the exact opposite thing. It's supposed to wick the sweat away and keep you cooler and more comfortable when you're wearing your corset. So here's a corset liner I have from Madame Cher, and as of this recording, this one is, uh, it says $20 for a pair, so I guess it's $10 each US. Um, and this one, it's made from a, a cotton jersey, it's a, a cotton knit, and it has seams on both sides. Although when I am wearing these liners, I tend to rotate it so that the seams are on the front and the back, because most of the restriction is coming in from the sides of the corset, so I like to have the sides of the corset seamless so that I have less irritation. But for the measurements of the liner, although the liners can be purchased separately, I purchased this with the corsets. So I provided my measurements with the corsets. I didn't provide any measurements and ask for the liner to be a, a specific size or anything. So uh, this is 10 inches long, although it does stretch that way. And it is um, about 11 inches wide. So when it uh, it can stretch over my top area, um, less so my hips because my hips are bigger than my chest. So this is 10 inches long, which is a little bit shorter than my natural torso. And this is uh, about 22 inches in circumference. I'm measuring it flat and doubling it. And I ordered my corsets to be a size 22, which is why I'm assuming that um, this liner was made to be in that size. So I find this to be very comfortable. Um, I actually wear it inside out uh, so that the seams are facing the outside so that on the inside it's a little bit smoother against my skin. Um, I find that it is very breathable. It's really nice when I'm wearing, say, the mesh corset. But I do notice that when it's on my body, it tends to shorten a little bit. So on some of my other corsets, I will notice that uh, the liner doesn't extend right to the very top edge and right to the very bottom edge of the corset itself. It's basically concentrated around the waist. Um, I find that cotton knits tend to wrinkle a little bit more than the uh, more synthetic, like the nylon jerseys. 
um, but if you are sensitive to synthetics I would recommend going with something like this instead and here is the liner that I got as a package with my uh, waist training corset from Heavenly Corsets so this is very old actually I, I probably ordered it late 2010 so it's probably like four and a half years old but I haven't been wearing it that often actually this is the liner that I wear the least often because um, it is just I noticed that it was a weird shape and when I'm wearing this I wear the seam to the back and I notice that the point kind of comes up it extends up above the, most of my corset lines and same with the bottom so it's a little bit awkward to have to sort of tuck that back underneath um, but this is made from uh, a spandex fabric a synthetic uh, it feels like swimsuit fabric, like kind of literally swimsuit fabric. Um, the advantage to this one is that it only has the one seam and I wear that in the, the center back and it's not, you know, it's not unsightly as long as you have a modesty panel covering it, I suppose. And this is available in both black and white. It's very, very slippery. I'll say that this one is, um, it causes one of the least friction. This and my contour corsets one uh, gives the least friction. So um, it's comfortable when I am lacing up and it's very thin, but it's not quite as breathable as the cotton liners. So you can see that this one was made to fit my measurements and made to fit underneath the specific corset that I ordered from Heavenly. So uh, it's about 12 and a half inches long. The waist here, if I double it, it is um, 21 inches. Uh, once again, my corset was 20 inches, but I'm assuming it stretched a little bit over time. The top edge here is about 28, and the bottom edge here is about oh, about 29, but it, it does stretch to the, the 32 that I needed at the time. If you bought this today, it's 14 pounds sterling on the website, which converts to about 21 or 22 dollars US. So this does its job, but it's not like the most sophisticated of corset liners that I've tried. This liner is from Corset Connection and this is a size medium. It comes in an envelope like this. So these uh, liners are the ones that I have tried most recently. So this one is also made from cotton and lycra, similar uh, knit to the Madame Cher style. And it comes in black, nude, also ivory and white, I believe. So this is a size medium and they ask you to order by your natural waist size, not by your corset size. So um, my natural waist is about 29 right now, so I fit into the size medium here. Um, there are a couple of differences between um, these corsets compared to the other ones. Um, this one has one seam only, so like I say, I like to wear it in the back. Um, but the seam, it doesn't actually have the seam allowance that's sticking out. Uh, if you look at it, here, this is a, a, a good view of it. It's more of a lapped seam, so it's a little bit flatter and you're not going to have that seam allowances that's kind of flipping over from side to side and, and like causing a weird like mark on your skin later on. Um, what you'll also notice is that there's a stretch lace this elastic lace on the top and bottom edges, which is a nice touch because one, it's it's rather pretty, and two, it is a little bit lower profile, it's a little bit flatter compared to um, folding over that top and bottom edge and hemming it so that you have that wider lip going around the top and the bottom. Um, however, it does have a tendency to sort of roll on itself. So if that's annoying to you, then maybe go for one of the other ones that has more of a sturdy lip. But um, as long as I kind of keep it nice and flat and stretched out and it doesn't allow itself to roll over, uh, I find it comfortable. So like I said, these ones are available from Corset Connection and they are $20 each. And so the measurements of this one 12 inches long. The waist here is uh, 24. The top edge here is 26 or actually 27 and the bottom edge is 27 as, as well. And lastly is my custom liners from Contour Corsets and these are the ones that I wear the most often. So this one is made from a four-way stretch spandex and so it is synthetic. Like I said, the synthetic fabrics tend to breathe a little bit less but they have that extra benefit of um, being very wrinkle-free and causing less friction under clothing compared to the cotton lycra. So this I ordered with my contour corset and I think I ordered it back in 2012. So at the time I believe they were about $30 each. Now they are $45 each if you don't buy it with uh, a corset. But you can have it slightly discounted if you buy it in a set of three. So um, if you buy it in a set of three, it's $125 as of uh, the time that I'm recording this right now. And uh, you actually give Fran your measurements and she makes it custom for you. So you can see that it actually follows the exact line of uh, my corset. You'll also notice that there is an actual piece of um, 
elastic ribbon on the top and the bottom edges here. So that sort of helps it keep keep it in place, um, although it doesn't tend to slide up and down on my body very much. Another thing that Fran suggests that you use it for is that uh, because this is very stretchy, um, it, you can actually stretch it to be longer than your corset itself and then fold up the top and bottom edges so that it's covering uh, the top and bottom edges of your corset itself. And so that helps to protect it and you know keep it looking nice. It uh, protects the the binding against abrasion and I guess it also prevents uh, any sort of sweat you know like under the breasts from dripping onto the top edge of your corset there so that's kind of nice. You'll notice that this is the only liner that has a tag on it but this is supposed to mark where you're supposed to put the back of the corset. So you wear the corset uh, with the seams on front and back and actually I believe that is on the inside here because uh, the the way that the this was seamed, it is smooth against the body when you wear it like that. And so the tag is on the inside here, but once you actually fold it over the top edge of the corset, then it's actually lying on the outside so it doesn't irritate your skin. So answering a couple of questions that I received on social media about these liners, uh, I was asked which one is like the softest against the skin, and I would say that uh, the softest is probably the corset connection one, but the, the nude one is actually a little bit softer than the black one, and I'm not sure if it's because I've worn the black one in. You would think that, you know, if I was wearing it and washing it, then that would get softer over time, but for some reason, this one that just came out of the package feels the softest. Uh, the one that feels, I guess, the smoothest is uh, this sort of um, swimsuit type fabric from uh, Heavenly Corsets. Like when I feel it, it's actually the most slippery, but because of the way that uh, the shape was sewn um, and because the stretch isn't like a huge amount, um, it actually still wrinkles a little bit underneath the corset. If I were to choose the one that um, is the least wrinkly underneath the corset, it would definitely be this one by Contour Corsets. As for breathability, I would say that um, the cotton lycra ones, the this one from Madame Cher and these from Corset Connection are probably the most breathable. Um, I am not one to sweat a lot in general, so I find that I'm able to wear like the synthetic fabrics and the uh, natural fabrics equally well. And I tend to lean towards the more synthetic fabrics for my own liners these days because it is less wrinkly. But if I lived in a really hot climate, or if you just tend to run hot or, or uh, you sweat a lot, then you might want to try one of the uh, cotton liners. I was also asked which ones are standard size and which ones are custom. So I believe that uh, the corset connection ones, these are standard size for sure. The Madame Cher one looks to be made in my uh, corset size, but it's sort of a standard size because it doesn't match my underbust and my hip measurements. And then the ones from Heavenly Corsets, um, this one is custom fit to my rib cage, waist and hips, as well as the contour corset one is also custom. And I was also asked to test the stretch of all of these. So even though all of these liners are between uh, 20 and 22 inches in the waist here, uh, I am able to pull it over my shoulders and my head. So it can stretch to uh, around 36 inches. Um, some of them just barely. <laughs> like this is probably the least elastic one, I would say. Um, but I guess just for completion's sake, I will do a stretch test on all of these. So this one is the Madame Cher one. So you can see it's 11 inches there. And if I pull it, it goes to about 16, 16 and a half inches. Here's a cotton liner from Corset Connection. So it starts at about 12 inches and stretches to around 18 and a half. Here's the one from Heavenly Corsets and it starts at about 10 and a half inches and stretching it to, let's say almost 16 inches. And here's the Contour Corsets one. And this one is starting at nine and a half inches, actually like nine and a quarter inches at the waist and stretching to like 17 and a half inches, almost 18. So this concludes my comparison of four different brands of uh, corset liners from Madame Cher, Corset Connection, Heavenly Corsets, and Contour Corsets. So uh, the most cost-effective one is definitely the Madame Cher one. The most expensive is Contour Corsets. However, I do tend to wear my Contour Corset liners the most often. So I hope you found this useful. If you have tried any of these corset liners or liners from any other companies, leave a comment down below and let us know how you like it. And I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.